One of my favorite features of active roles are dynamic groups. Dynamic groups give us the ability to set and forget groups. Every active directory environment has huge numbers of groups and they all have to, the membership of those groups always has to be maintained. And what's silly about it, if you really think about it, is that the vast majority of the work that gets done could logically be done automatically. Let's talk about that. In active roles, we created something called dynamic groups. Dynamic groups are groups that are automatically keeping their membership in sync. So in other words, we don't have to go in on a daily basis and change users. We don't have to get help desk requests that say, I moved from the UK office to the Berlin office, and now I need to be moved out of the uh, UK office group and into the Berlin office group. It will happen automatically. Let me show you some examples of that. Here I have a group called Amsterdam. If I open up this group and I take a look at the membership rules, what you're going to see is that I have told it that anybody in my employees OU, which is where all my users exist, whose office location is exactly Amsterdam, should be in this group. I click preview and you can see there are 26 people that should be in that group. Maybe I'll double check it, but I can tell you it's correct. Also, Adele here needs to be in that group too because she is an executive admin and she has people in that group, so we want her to be there too. So we can individually add users, we can individually exclude groups, exclude users, anything we want, even use LDAP queries. And if you recall from our discussion earlier on managed units, you might have noticed that that screen looks the same, and that's because it is almost the same. A managed unit is technically very similar to a dynamic group. One of the questions you might get from customers is, what is the difference between a dynamic group and the Microsoft Exchange uh, automatic groups? The difference is this. Theirs are very limited. It can be one criteria. It must be an exchange distribution list. It cannot be a security group. With active roles, I can have multiple different rules, LDAP queries, all any combination of whatever I want, and it can be any type of group. And I can have as many of them as I want configured however I want. And they are instant. If I move something that is tied to the criteria for that dynamic group, that group membership will change instantly.